Hey, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to set up our actual cell layout using NS layout constraints to use auto layout programmatically. We're gonna be using tools such as UI stack view, UI image view, and UI label. Now, we need to take a look at exactly what we'll be building. So I'm gonna show you here in the completed app what we're actually gonna be building for each cell, right? So each one of these cells has a title, a URL, and an image view. Now, what we'll get done in this video is the image view, the t name, and we'll actually get the URL there, but we won't get the blue color on that and everything, right? That'll be the next video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by first getting our images into our application, which you can find in the resources description below, and you can then download those and drag them into assets. Okay, so here they are, Twitter, Medium, and Instagram. And one thing I want you to notice is that these all have lowercase titles, right? Instagram, Medium, Twitter. So go ahead and in viewcontroller.swift, just make sure that your inst your title on each of these, not your title, but your, um, we want those to be capital, but your image URL, make sure that it is lowercase, okay? See how image URL is medium and the image URL on this one is Twitter. I'll close this so you can see a bit better. There you go. You see how they're lowercase? Make sure they're lowercase. All right, so that's probably the case already. Let's go ahead and now set up our first image view, okay? So let's go into our social account cell, and below social account, we're just gonna basically start writing out our, our code, okay? Okay, so let's start with the logo image view. All we need to do is say guard, Sorry, what we'll do is we'll first write it. We won't unwrap it until we write it. And we'll say file private let logo image view is a type of UI image view. And then we're gonna set that equal to some braces. And then at the end of the braces, we're gonna call it like a function because what we're actually doing here is we're gonna declare our image view and return it to this variable, okay? So what we're gonna say is let image view is equal to UI image view, image view dot content mode is equal to dot scale aspect fit. And that's so that it fits properly. And you can mess around with that and see what that looks like. And then we're just going to return the image view. Okay, so that's our image view. Now we need our app title. Okay, so the Instagram, we'll say file private let app title UI label. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll say let label is equal to UI label. And if I'm going fast, just kind of wait until I'm done typing it out or keep up. And then if once I'm done typing it out, just pause the video and you can copy it in. Okay. And we'll say label.font is system font of size. And we'll say 14. And then let's say weight is bold. And then what we're going to do is just leave it like that. Okay. So that should be good. Now it has to have a dot before the bold. Make sure there's a period before the bold, and then we're good there, okay? So we have our label. Let's go ahead and declare our link now that's gonna go below the label. So we'll say file private let app link is equal to UI button. Okay, so those are our UI views. Now what we need to do is kind of situate them on the screen with UI stack view and auto layout constraints. Okay, so real quick before we do that, let's set the title and the title labels and all that, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm just gonna say logo image view is equal to dot image. Sorry, not I'm retarded. What the heck? Logo image view dot image is equal to UI image. And then we're gonna choose named, and then we'll put in social account dot image URL. So what's gonna happen is if I switch back to view controller.swift, it's gonna take this image URL from each of these when it gets to each cell, and it's gonna go into this code right here and basically just set the image of logo image view to that image, okay? So that's what's going on there. Let's go ahead and say app title.text is equal to account.title. Sorry, account social account dot title. And then we're just going to basically change the text of the app link. So we'll say app link, and it's a bit different since it's a button. We'll say dot set title, and then we'll just say social account dot title. Uh, let's see, social account dot image, uh, what is it called? URL, there we go. And then we're just gonna say dot normal for the control state. All right, now that's how we set our titles. Let's go ahead and reload our application. And you're actually gonna see that we're left with a blank yellow cell again. And that's because we haven't actually laid them out on the screen yet with our auto layout constraints, which is the whole point of this video. We've just kind of set things up on a good 
note to kind of begin doing that, okay? So let's go ahead and start doing that. Once this loads up, you'll see it's empty. Let's start doing it by getting rid of the background color that's yellow. And what I wanna do is I just want to add these each to the sub view, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say add sub view and we'll say logo image view and then we'll say add sub view and we'll say title, app title and then we'll say add sub view and then we'll just say app link, okay? And that's gonna get them all on the screen. Now, if we reload our application, uh, they might appear on the screen, not sure. I would imagine that they could, if this was like CSS or something, they would, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, so they're not on the screen. They have been added, but there's nothing really there, okay? So let's go ahead and figure out what the heck is going on, right? Okay, so first thing we want to do is just say app title, dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints is false. And then let's just copy this a couple times. And this is all gonna be so confusing for a second if you've never done auto layout programmatically, but as you follow along, you will understand what's going on. Okay, and then we'll say app link, and then we'll say logo image view. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is kind of give our logo image view a height. So let's say logo image view dot height anchor, dot constraint, and this is NS layout constraint. Notice how it says NS layout constraint. And we'll say equal to constant, and we'll just say 30 for now. And we are going to change this because we're gonna make our cells a bit higher and stuff like that. But for now, we just kind of want to get it on the screen, right? Let's go ahead and recompile our application. Again, not sure if it's gonna show anything on the screen yet, but once we add in the next couple constraints, it definitely will. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, so they actually all appeared now, but you can see it's a little bit messed up. So let's go ahead and constrain the logo image view to the left side of our cell and then get everything else where it should be, okay? So we'll say logo image view dot left anchor dot constraint, and then we'll say is equal to, and we'll say, let's just say left, we'll say leading anchor, and then constant, we'll just get rid of that for now and add it back if we need to. We'll set that active to true, and then let's reload our application and see what we're given. All right, so it's loading up. Let's go, let's go. And you can see now that it's constrained to the, or not, it actually broke. Let's go ahead and go back and let's read and see what the heck's going on. All right, so let's see, let's see. It says, because their units are not compatible, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, oh, it's because we didn't say leading anchor on image view. Let's say leading anchor. And then now when you reload that, it's gonna work. So that's one thing I wanna emphasize is that even if you know what you're doing, you're likely to make little mistakes like that as you program. So don't ever expect to be a perfect programmer, okay? So it's a little bit uh, messed up still. It's not any different. So let's go ahead and just skip to the stack view now and get our app title and link where they should be, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say let stack is equal to UI stack view. And then we're gonna choose arranged sub views, okay? And then in arranged sub views, we're gonna put an array and we're just gonna say app title and app link. So now what we need to do is get rid of these add sub views because we're now adding them into a stack view. Okay, and then we wanna do the same thing with translates auto resizing masks on our stack. So what we'll do is we will say stack.translates auto resizing mask is equal to false. And now we're ready to constrain our stack. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our stack to the sub view. And then now what we can do is we can go down here and say stack dot center y anchor dot constraint is equal to and we'll just say view no we'll just say center y anchor and then we'll say constant we'll get rid of that and then we'll say dot is active is true now let's give it a height we can just copy our logo image view height anchor and we can say stack and then we'll just say say this is equal to 40 and then that should be good now when you compile this there's actually going to be a problem and that problem is that the stack by default is not on the correct axis that we want it to be on. It's gonna be going from left to right. So you can already see it's messed up. You can't really see the title because it's white. And um, we can change that really quick just by going up to the top here and saying app link dot set title color. And let's just say dot black for now and dot normal, okay? So I just wanted to add that in so we can actually see it. And so I can emphasize what's going on with the stack view here. And basically what is going on is that the axis is set to horizontal by default. So it's kind of messed up, right? 
it needs to be going from top to bottom. So what we should do is we should say on stack here that we want the axis to be dot vertical, okay? Now, when we recompile our application, you're gonna see why this is good and why it works, okay? So come on, I hate waiting for this compilation. You're gonna see now that it is going in the correct direction, but our cell height is kind of small, okay? Now, before we change the cell height, let's just go ahead and put our image view where it belongs, okay? So we got the leading anchor, and okay, leading anchor. Hmm, what's going on here? We need to set a width anchor on our logo image view so that it doesn't try and be the whole width of the container, right? So we'll say width anchor is equal to constraint. And this time I don't wanna use 30, I wanna use something like 60. And we'll say dot is active is true. That way we can have a little bit of space in between, in between our um, icon in the sides and the right, okay? So we'll set, set it to 60, okay? Now when you recompile it, you're gonna see that. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is basically constrain the stack where it belongs because it thinks it just belongs wherever it wants, right? So we wanna say stack.left anchor is actually equal to, and then we'll say logo image view dot right anchor. And then we'll say, okay, but we want it to be about eight pixels away from it. And then we'll say is active is true or eight points or whatever that value is, okay? So now when you recompile your application, it's gonna look a lot better and the stack's actually gonna be where it belongs. Okay, so it looks a bit better. Now let's go ahead and give it more height because you can see our cells are just way too small. Okay, so we'll go back into our view controller.swift and let's go down to, to height for ROA and let's just change this to like 60. We might need to add a bit more might even try like 80 or something. I can't remember what I did when I initially built it, but we'll see. Okay, so 60, let's see what that looks like. Looks a bit better. Actually looks really good, but the problem is our actual titles don't have a good enough height now. And same with our images, they're not like in the center. So let's copy this center Y anchor and let's put it right here below logo image view and let's change stack to logo image view on that one. So now that now our logo image view, image view should be centered. Let's go ahead and reload our application and you'll see that it's now in the center of the screen. But our label is clearly still going to be a little bit messed up. So let's go ahead and fix that by giving those each some properties by modifying our stack. So let's say stack dot distribution is equal to dot fill proportionately so that we can fill the items proportionately so that they each have an a good amount of height for their specified font, okay? And that's gonna make it look a lot better. Okay, sweet. So that's it for this video. We now have that set up. You can even change things like the logo image height anchor to be something like 40. I think it might need a bit, bit be a bit bigger, but either way, we've got our layout on the screen and we are ready now to go a bit further in our application and modify things like our link and make it actually look good using NS attributed string and NS attributed attributes. Okay. So let's go ahead and hop into the next video where we're going to do that. I'll see you all in just a second.